are up here at Audio Zone, and I have some special stuff to show you right over here. We. This is going on the car. Front end is going to be full carbon fiber. All we're going to be missing is the hood and some stuff for the grill. But, dude, this stuff is killer. Shout out to Auto Addict. Throw their Instagram up here. These guys came through clutch for us on getting this stuff shipped out here to Texas fast and packaged professionally. You see, they take good care of these products. Man, this is some first class stuff. So shout out to Auto Addicts. Let's get this stuff on the car and see how good it looks. We have the Jack Fab Performance Track Hawk. This thing has a little bit done to it, but dude, this thing is dope. Hell raising purple. Tan it up. Man, we're gonna see what this thing is about. Boy, carbon fiber.
tire marks and everything. I need to get a track up. Like, no if ands, or buts about it. Like, that right there, that's fun and all that kind of stuff, you know, with all the carbon fiber and everything and all the shit that that has. But, like, this, like, as far as like practicality and like being super fun, I need to get one for sure. But I love, I love the Hellcat. Can't go wrong with it. Uh, as y'all can see, we got the 15s on here. I uh, painted them, but it still got some chrome and everything. And then um, we have the Auto Addicts carbon fiber fender flares on here and fenders and the front lip. And this stuff looks killer. So um, we're gonna get the car all cleaned up, make it look a little bit better. Today we're up here to address some stuff with my radiator. Had a little mishap, but it's all good. Should happen, but we're also gonna throw some other stuff in here. I have a special gift from Dry Shaft Shop. As you can see right here, I'll open it a little bit later. I'll open it up inside the box. I gotta fix something with my muffler. A lot of a lot of stuff going on today, but that right there, that was I need one. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Okay, I don't even know how to be how to begin to explain this, but I literally almost lost the Hellcat all because of a Power Master alternator going out and basically almost catching fire. <clears throat> I haven't had any issues with it except for it deciding it wanted to literally like kill itself. <clears throat> I'm out of breath because I have to run over here to this dealership to grab a fire extinguisher to try to put the fire out, which is why y'all see all this everywhere in here and i'm trying to clean it up we got the truck and trailer coming <clears throat> um i gotta uh, i gotta address the valve covers dipstick some of the harness over here like the coil pack right there that one's melted on there now um obviously get the alternator out of there and all that stuff figure out what i'm gonna do for the harness and then just take care of anything else that i need to take care of it was a really small fire but it could have been a lot worse like the alternator itself was just you know like getting really really hot and obviously had some flames on it and it was throwing up <coughs> so the alternator itself was trying to throw up some flames but uh you see that it got up to the valve covers which is really scary but i was able to put it out um we had the fire department over here and everything uh but i really almost lost this fucking car again over some dumb shit and I need to keep an extra fire extinguisher in here. I had one and I had used it on Jeff's car when his Viper caught fire because a fuel line popped. <clears throat> but I definitely was kind of lazy in getting a replacement and almost just paid the price. So um, this is insane. Like your name's gonna end up being called like Lucky the Firefighter because I'm having to defend this car from people trying to steal the shit, it catching fire because of dumbass alternators. <clears throat> but nonetheless, uh, was able to save it, thank God. All right, so we got brought the truck over here. Got the car all strapped up. Gonna go get it fixed, do some maintenance on it. And yeah, that was a scary close call. It was a small fire. I don't want to alert anybody and make it think it was like bigger than what it was. It was just controlled at the alternator. So I got really lucky being near a dealership where I could go and grab a fire extinguisher, but we got it on the trailer. We're going to go get it taken care of and keep on moving forward. So nothing on the wires here got burnt through or anything like that and inside of here nothing got uh super warped or broken it's just the plastic obviously was melting um 
The only wires that really got damaged were this ground that runs to that sensor down there, but I think it may even be protected by that coating on top, but I'm pretty sure it's fucked. The alternator wire, that's burnt. That bitch about to fall apart. Uh, that's burnt. The connector to the back side of the alternator for that double plug, that's those two wires down there. Those are burnt. Um, the block, or not block, but the valve covers, the coil pack right here kind of got charred up. That connector can be replaced, I'm sure, but uh, nothing else really. The little red mesh that was over this got burnt up, but the harness did not get chewed through. You can see kind of down there it's a little charred, but alternator decided it wanted to catch fire on the back side. That's what happened. Okay, so after further assessing the damage, this is the part of the engine harness that got messed up. Pretty sure this is my oil pressure sensor. It's my oil temp sensor or reverse. That one got charred. A little bit of a towel residual stuff is down there in the um, fire extinguisher stuff. The power harness right here ended up being okay. Um, the harness to the back of the alternator, as you see, got fried. Um, body harness to the fuse box is okay you know but it still obviously got touched but none of the wires got cooked um this coil pack right here I already have it disconnected and cut that one's done but obviously i can i got regular coil packs we can throw in there in a the harness that ain't shit but yeah stopped it before it got too bad but still did some damage but we're gonna get it all fixed up and hopefully ready for this weekend in houston Shout out to my alternator. They're almost taking out the car. <laughs> That's crazy. That thing is cooked. Oh. Sheesh. Just like that, baby. <laughs> we back. <laughs>
All right, testing one, two, we good? All right, I appreciate everybody coming out here to Gulf Gate Dodge, you know, supporting the dealership, me and the community as far as bringing everybody together so that we can have a, you know, legalized, good car meet. As you see, there's a lot of people here. So hopefully, you know, you guys see something that you like. It's not just some lame stuff. <laughs> if you guys don't know, I'm Boosie Lucky. Um, I'm from Dallas, Texas. Uh, this is my second or third time here in Houston. So it's really good to see the turnout. I really appreciate everybody coming out here. I know we're kind of just getting started as far as like, you know, people rolling in, but shit, this is dope as hell. Um, so we have like, this is what, what, I, what kind of like have like left over, right? So I have some plate frames. We're selling those for 20 bucks. And then we have some hats. We have very few hats. We're selling those for 25. We're just trying to get rid of those. Um, plate frames, we got plenty of them for anybody that wants some. Um, hats, that's all we got here today. Uh, anything else, if you guys want some stuff like you see everybody wearing, like I see they got right there, got a hoodie on. Uh, I see some other people got shirts on and stuff like that. Boosted-lucky.com. Uh, you can buy it on there. And um, other than that, if anybody wants a photo, want to talk, chop it up, whatever, just come up to me and uh, we'll get it going. So, like I said, I appreciate everybody. Thank you to my homeboy Alex for putting this on and Gulf Gate Dodge, like I said. And uh, let's, let's turn it up, let's have fun. Oh! <laughs> 
guys so much for all the support and love yesterday at the Bloke Dodge meet that we had out here. Um, we had somebody buy a car. We had a bunch of people out here. The parking lot, as you can see right now, is kind of scarce. But yesterday, man, this thing was jam packed. And like I said, I can't thank everybody enough. That was my first ever, you know, car meet that I've hosted, you know, or been a part of that was like centered around us. Um, we sold some merch. We, you know, took a lot of photos. We had some people pull up that sent others to call me out to race them, but did not come up to ask me, but that's cool. Um, we brought the car out here. Um, the drive shaft in it right now needs to be replaced, but after that we'll be, you know, a bunch of racing content and videos everywhere. Like I said, the turnout was crazy. Um, I can't thank Houston enough for all the love and support that we got. And we'll be back down here soon. And thank you guys once again for coming out and showing love at the meet.